to my channel. I really hope you had a fabulous new year and we're all ready to crack on with the new 2020 and the new decade. So obviously you can see by the new little intro that I've had made and the title that this is the beginning of my Project Comeback series. I am honestly so excited to be documenting this journey with you and hopefully aspiring and helping so many of you and um, to like really have a healthy and happy new like new year new us so without further ado let's get into the video okay guys so if i glance down because i'm on my phone i've written oh that's my chat um i've written down all my notes so i'm going to tell you so over the last like four years of my fitness journey um i've been like quite all over the place so uh, as it's a new decade i was like Do you know what there is no reason not to start now so it is the first of january today and me and greg are indeed changing our lifestyle completely like we want to really like be healthier happier and like genuinely inside like be healthy and not just on the outside but obviously lose a bit of weight um before we like enter the series I'm telling you what's worked for me in the past so I'm not like saying go and do these but people have asked me what I did how I did it and obviously I got results um so I'm just sharing with you what I did I have checked with Greg what I'm telling you and obviously he's a qualified personal trainer so um if I do ever say anything that's like not correct like he'll tell me and I'll like won't publish it so um Basically, what this video is about is how to start. Obviously, the first episode of the series. Um, this is a series that's going to be once a month at the moment. Obviously, if it gets quite popular, then I might like slip in another one, like if it fits. But at the moment, it's going to be one a month, and it's going to be for the year. So, twelve episodes in total, and this is number one. So, um, basically, this one is how to start. So, basically, I know. I'm the same as everyone, it's really hard to start, you normally do it for like two weeks and then you crash and you have pizza and then you feel really unmotivated and you're like no, right. So I basically thought and planned how to make it stick and how you can make it not just a diet and a fad but an actual lifestyle change, that's what I'm really aiming for, like I'm not doing this just for like the year, I am doing this for, my, like, for myself, like for my like changing my complete lifestyle. So, basically, the tips and tricks I have to kind of starting this whole, um, starting this kind of routine. So I've written a few um, tips of how to start. So I'm actually going to, quickly, before I go into the tips and tricks, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen in this video. So I'm going to kind of tell you a list of things that I do, like tips and stuff. Then I'm going to show you uh, my current physique. I'm going to take my measurements and insert them, like, in after I filmed. And my weight currently, I weigh currently um, 10 stone 13. So I'm going to keep this, this series really raw and really real. Like, I'm not going to be, like, sucking in. I'm going to be showing you everything. Like, I've told you my weight. Like, that's something, like, I've always been really, like, self-conscious of. But realistically, it's not going to change anything. Like, I look the way I look. It's just a number in my eyes. Um, and the main thing is, like, I'm obviously, like, not big. But for myself, I want to change, and that's fine. Like, if you want to change as well, then you're watching the right video. So, and then we're going to um, go to the gym, and I'm going to obviously show you my first workout. Going back to the gym, I haven't been to the gym for um, two months, which I'd say I haven't been to the gym at all for two months, but I didn't really try beforehand. Like, I was very hit and miss. Like, it was, like, maybe, like, once, twice a week for quite a long time. So, I'd say, realistically, I've been out of the whole gym game for, like, six seven months like probably when me and greg got together it's kind of like gonna be very much beginners um workout so obviously you're more welcome to try along with us um and then that'll be kind of today's video and then obviously the next one you have to wait wait and see what we discuss so my tips and tricks to obviously starting a new fitness like lifestyle journey will be first one is plan when you're going to the gym so that's a really important one at the beginning like on a sunday before the week starts tell yourself what days you're going to the gym and what time and what you're going to train so for me as an example i obviously work in office i have very strict hours but like obviously the reason i said do weekly because obviously 
if you're like it, a waiter, obviously I've been there, I've done it. You don't know what you're doing until the like the Sunday before. So that's why I've said on each Sunday, sit down and plan when you're going to go. Like say you're going to go at these times on these days and then you'll go because you've planned it. It's not like, oh, I will go to the gym now. Um, obviously, this is my personal self. So obviously if one of those people that wakes up and thinks, oh, I'm going to work out now, then do it. As long as you go to the gym, as long as you like get that like, you must have, what's it, endorphins going, it's going to make you feel better. So for example, on, on a Monday, I work until one, one o'clock. So I'm going to go to the gym at half past one and that's what I've decided and then the next morning I'm going at half past seven Wednesday I'm going at not at all because it's not my rest day Thursday I've had day off so I'm going to train in the day Friday I'm going to do um, Greg's spin class at the gym and Saturday I'm going to have to work at three so like, I've already got into my head when I'm training and I've also planned what I'm training because obviously um, I um, don't do cardio I do a lot of like weights and stuff so I plan different days so like i.e legs back and biceps chest tries and shoulders and then um a cardio day so i do tw um, legs twice a week so that's kind of like my five days i have two rest days so yeah that's kind of example but i think it's really important to plan your workouts and when you're going to go like even if you don't want to go to the gym plan you're going to go for a walk on those days plan you're going to do at least something active because going for a walk just clears your mind like it's so good to get some fresh air so on my rest days i'm going to be doing active rest days where i'm going to be going on walks with greg like walking the dog or something so my second tip is to either buy some new gym clothes we know we all love new gym clothes when you not when you buy new gym clothes you just feel really motivated i got this top for christmas it's a gym shark top i really like it. it's baggy so it's really flattering so yeah I got that for Christmas, so I've got luckily this nice new gym top, and I'm um, just paired it with some like um, Gymshark um, camo leggings. Um, but um, I won't be buying any new um, gym leggings for a while. I just haven't got the money right now. So basically, if you don't want to go and spend money on gym clothes, get out the gym clothes you currently have and kind of like put them into outfit choices, and then get them out the night before you're going to the gym. So like pack your bags. So there's no excuse like, or like if you're like rushing that morning. You might forget them. So if you pack it the night before, you know you've definitely got everything. Remember your trainers, remember like your water bottle, everything. Headphones, my headphones are ch charging right now there. Um, so yeah, as I said, the tip is just make sure you feel good in the gym. Like get your workout stuff. Say you're going to the gym tomorrow, get out and you're ready to go. So third one is a very, very much a preference one. But I do know a lot of girls do feel this way from like reading like my Twitter timeline. Is that fake tan makes me feel so much better about myself. Obviously, you can tell I've got a lot of fake tan right now. I'm very pale naturally. I am literally the sheet, the colour of my sheets on my bed. Greg can vouch for me. He has seen me pale. So for me, last year I put off going to the gym so many times because I was either pale or patchy. And I'm not letting that stop me this year. I'm either gonna, if obviously you're confident to go without fake tan, you go, girl. I wish I was you. But I currently do not feel comfortable in my like paleness so i am going to make sure i'm on it with my fake tan i at least like not patchy and i'm going to go like no matter what like i'm going to make sure that's not an excuse i use this year but i do admit like it does make you feel so much like like i feel like i lose like a stone automatically when i fake tan like i'm just like a milk bottle otherwise i just feel so like ugh. but um obviously it's a massive personal one for me but if you want to give it a go and like try some fake tan out um i just feel so much like better about myself like it's so personal but if that works for you then it works for you it's another reason to go to the gym um another tip is um food prep so food prep is a massive one for me and greg obviously when you've got a really busy lifestyle it's sometimes really easy just to grab a quick bit of food from mcdonald's it's easy to like grab a chill cook from Morrison's or like Tesco and it's not normally very healthy so what I am promising myself this year is that unless I'm just going away for the week or that something interferes I'm going to be meal prepping every single week and I'm going to have all my meals all my snacks everything pre-potted so I can come home bang it in the microwave and it's done I used to be one of those people that would not reheat chicken would not reheat like anything dangerous I still don't reheat rice so that's like I cook that on the day, like I buy microwaveable rice because that's not bad for you. Um, I don't eat a lot of rice anyway, but um, I used to be one of those people that did not reheat things. And I kind of just had to get over it because I spoke to my mum and she's like, Elle, it's fine. As long as you don't like leave it 10 days and then reheat it. And as long as it's piping hot, so like literally two and a half, three minutes in the microwave, make sure it is 
like piping, like burning hot. Um, Greg always moans at me because I literally like create our food, but I'd rather be safe or sorry. So if that's like an excuse you've been using, get over it. <laughs> but obviously be careful because obviously we don't want food poisoning. Um, but that's obviously a really like another one to keep you going. And honestly, eating healthy, makes your my mind healthy your insides healthy your digestion better but it also like makes you feel better to work out like there's nothing worse than working out after like a pizza like you just don't feel motivated you want to like just like sit on the sofa and watch a film and not go to the gym but after you've had like chicken and broccoli or like sweet potato chicken or whatever um you feel really motivated and like it doesn't bloat you out and you just feel so much better about yourself so meal prep is another massive um tip I'm going to be doing a separate video, maybe in one of the series that will go through like my weekly meal prep and I'll show you everything, I'll show you how much it costs me, like I'll do everything. If that's something you want me to do, let me know. Um, so the second tip is speak to the instructors at your gym. Obviously if you don't go to the gym, this one you can't do, but if you do go to the gym, um, speak to your instructors there instructors instructors they are honestly so nice and so helpful all the instructors at my gym are so lovely and i'm sure they are at yours as well i know it can be a little bit intimidating but just go that's their job they are there to help you they can like write you personal plans i know they do in my gym i go to any anytime fitness gyms there's a lot of them in the uk really recommend them they are um they're all over the country, so if you're on holiday, there's most likely going to be one in the country you're going to, hopefully. Um, but otherwise, they're all over the UK, so anytime fitness, go and join them. Um, so this is very personal to me, and obviously completely depends on what you do for your lifestyle. But mine is, um, I want to be getting up earlier. So I currently get up at half past seven, I want to get up at half past six. Just simply an hour earlier, just so I'm not rushed. Oh, is that me or you? Oh, me. Um Rude. <laughs> rude so popular um what was i um getting up earlier so i find just literally getting up that early I, like i had basically me and greg had like a chat and we were like everyone we aspire to be gets up early like i know sometimes you can't physically do it like if you work in a pub me and greg have both worked in pubs we know you finish at like half 11 plus and you're knackered so you sleep in late and then you go to the gym either late or midday so obviously you're not going to be getting up at half past six because that would be like really horrible for you but um i personally am going to really try and get up at half past six so i can get up have a green tea settled in like settle into my day um, watch a bit of tv just not be rushed in the morning i feel like i'll feel a lot more motivated like i want to get some workouts in before work before i would have never been able to do that so yeah that's another tip that you can either try if you want to do and then my last tip is drinking green tea and loads and loads of water so that's my real thing i'm going to really stick to every single day is having at least one green tea hopefully two a day one in the morning one before bed and then i want to drink three liters of water per day because i think water is so good for you it's good for your hair good for your skin good for like bloke obviously you do hold water weight so you will sometimes look bigger or weigh more because your body is holding on to water because it doesn't know when you're next going to drink. So try and keep your body hydrated. It's also really good for you and like for your digestion, I think. Greg, is that right? Is it good for digestion when we're drinking? Yeah, yeah we'll help it. So that is my um, two last tips. So we're going to crack on and go to the gym now. Well, actually, no, 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 no we're not. So I'm going to quickly show you my current physique. Let's just say, I'm not like massive, I'm, I'm saying that right now, but I am two stone heavier than what I want to be. And I'm not like currently that toned at the moment. Um, so we're gonna go and show you that and then we'll go to the gym. So guys, um, obviously keeping this very real with you. I'm gonna do these check-ins with you. Um, excuse the mess in my flat. Please ignore that. So this is my current physique, obviously after Christmas. back so um, my key areas i want to work on um are my arms and my back and my tummy so like my hip area i find like i always stick weight here a lot so that might be the same as you but for me it is all around my like hip area and my back so yes that is my current physique hopefully you're more confident to wear shorts next time but this is my current physique. Obviously I am. Like I have got a slight like tone in my stomach, but like that is very, look at it closer for you. Like it's not, like it's not firm. Like I'm very wobbly. Like, if you can see, but like, puppy. 
but um yeah no, that's my current physique and I will put my measurements here so you can see what I am I'm gonna I'm gonna consistently measure my quads my waist my arms and my bottom because I want to be growing size on my bottom so guys we're gonna go to the gym now and I will show you my back to the gym workout let's hope it goes okay okay guys we're at the gym now and I'm gonna do my beginner workout back to the gym Greg is gonna train with me he'll film um don't know what I'm gonna train I think I'm gonna train legs so we'll go with legs but um yeah I hope you guys enjoy and honestly try some of these workouts try some of these exercises out when you go to the gym and I will catch you when we get back at home that workout I just put together for you it's a very much beginner a lot of um, machine based exercises because I think it's always the best way when you are beginning but going back into the gym because obviously but going on a machine kind of make sure that you're doing the right technique and obviously when you are starting off in the gym your body's not used to it like my body is very much not used to it I actually hurt myself doing my squats because I didn't warm up because I've never really had to warm up, warm up properly for them before because my body's always been so used to squatting and like doing exercises I completely forgot that my body probably is not used to the gym after two months of not going and I kind of hurt my um, hamstring a little bit so I think I might have said quad but um, definitely my hamstring but it's fine I've stretched on it and I carried on working out as you saw and it'll be fine tomorrow hopefully and Greg has massaged it and Greg has massaged it. it and rolled it and kind of like kind of done and stretched with me so hopefully that's all fine don't do that guys but obviously um I really hope you guys enjoyed it and you enjoyed the first episode of my new mini series. I actually can't believe I'm doing a mini series. Like that sounds so like proper YouTubery. But I just thought I'd like it's a really nice way of me obviously you guys getting really like oh obviously a really good way of you guys getting to know me. Obviously very gonna be a very personal chatty series and obviously there's nowhere there's no better way to get to know me. So guys subscribe if you enjoyed today's video and if you want to kind of um, stay stick around obviously watch all the next episodes i'm gonna be uploading them at the beginning of every single month and they will start with a weigh-in and a physique update i'll also insert like obviously the months before 
video so you can kind of see the difference and uh, I think next month's gonna be more based on like like is it dietary you dietary I don't know. yeah dietary yeah. I think yeah. like what I'm putting into my body the supplements I use the protein shakes I use the food I consume in the week and I'll probably do a breakdown of like every, like how much my healthy food shop costs where I get it from and if that's something that you want obviously me to do let me know um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching guys I will see you in next either the next video or the next episode in the series which will be around Gregory's birthday so Yay, good luck to me if you're staying healthy. But I'll catch you in another video, guys. Bye!